Hey, today I'm going to go over layer blending modes and also layer styles. These are two things in Photoshop to be familiar with. And I have a couple of photos open. If you want to open up uh, maybe two photos and you can even follow along. But first I'm going to describe it before I go over the tutorial. Uh, whenever you open an image, for example a JPEG, you have one layer by default called a background layer. Uh, it's not really a normal layer because you can't move it above other layers. So for example, if I click the new layer icon at the bottom here, it creates this transparent layer. And I go over here and let's say I just um, add some brush like that. Okay. Now I can't click and drag it below the background layer. I have to double click the background layer first, hit OK, then I can drag it below. Also, you can't uh, do a couple of things to this layer. For example, remove pixels. So if I wanted to take the rectangular marquee tool and click and drag over here, make sure I'm on this layer zero, and hit backspace, or if I added a mask down here, you know, if I hit backspace or use the eraser tool, you notice that it just gets rid of those pixels and adds the little checkerboard pattern, which means it's transparent. If it was the normal background layer, then it would just make it whatever the background color was. So if you ever want to create a transparent, partially transparent image, you do need to make sure the background layer is a normal layer before you mask out or erase or delete the background and save it as, say, a transparent PSD and placing it in InDesign or transparent PNG or GIF in a web design. Now, as far as layer blending modes go, I just have this little uh, soft edge brush pattern here. And layer blending modes is just the way that two layers blend. So on the layers palette up here, if you don't see it, make, just go to Window, then Layers. Now, if I press this little layer blending mode where it says Normal, you can set it to Dissolve, and then just press the Down key on the keyboard, press darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, darker color, lighten. You can see what all these do, and they'll have a slightly different effect. Uh, you could do overlay, which would keep the texture of the layer below it, but still change the color a bit. Soft light, hard light, vivid light, you know, all that. Uh, another way, let me just delete this file. Um, another way is just taking two photos and putting them on top of each other. So these are automatically in CS5 uh, up on the tab there. If you click and drag it down, almost like a window there, and then I'm going to use the move tool on the tools palette and click and drag it over here. It's a little bit bigger file, so make sure show transform controls is selected up there. And I'm going to click and drag the corner there and bring it down just a bit. So I have two images here. If I click the eye icon next to layer one, you can see by default it just covers up the layer below it. Hit the eye icon, removes this transparency. You can change the opacity a little bit, basically the transparency, and to see through that layer below it. Or again, you can change the layer blending mode. So you can come up with some specific looks here. You know, that one looked pretty neat. And you can cycle through all these. That one's pretty good too. And come up with something kind of unique look. Some of them might not be that useful. But again, you can see the difference, uh, the different mathematical equations Photoshop is running with these pixels to determine how they uh, blend. So I'll just set it back to normal for now. now. As far as layer styles, that's something a little bit different. If you go ahead and click this T for the text layer, I'm just going to click and let go and I'm just going to type in beach. And then I'm going to press the move tool and click and drag the corner. Hold shift to maintain the proportion if you want. 
and hit enter. Make sure show transform controls is selected up there to resize it. Now I have a regular font right here, a little title, and you can actually go to layer and then layer style and then change how this layer, the style of it basically. So you could add a drop shadow, you know, and that's a nice professional looking drop shadow. Sometimes drop shadows, bevels, and bosses can kind of look very um, unprofessional or more amateur looking, but if you do it subtly and in specific ways you can come up with something good. So I'll just hit that check icon next to it and I still have it selected but it's not applied. Um, just go down to stroke. That adds just kind of a border to it and you could make the size you know larger, smaller for it to kind of stand out. So if you want to uncheck that it'll get rid of it. And you can experiment with all these different ones, changing the color of it, gradient, making a gradient overlay on that layer, pattern overlay and whatnot. So for this one, I think if, uh, go ahead and follow along with this one, I would say find some kind of photo and then another one, put it below it like I've done here, but change the layer blending mode of that uh, layer on top to something that makes it kind of unique look to it. Okay, I'm actually going to do, let's see, over the, it looks pretty, hard light looks kind of good, but actually I kind of like that one, the divide. Right, I'm just going to move this over a little bit so the boat, because that was a slightly larger file anyway, So we get a little bit more of the boat and the waves there. All right, so we have this and um, then create a new text layer and type in some text on the top. I'm actually gonna change this, double click this T. I'm gonna change the color to blue so it complements the orange there, complementary color. And add a layer style. So I'm going to go to layer, layer style, and for this one I'll just do a simple drop shadow and hit OK, but you can use any of those. All right, and then I'm going to move that down, maybe center it, and have a consistent space between the edges there from the edges. All right, so that's kind of maybe just a simple, fun way to learn about layer blending modes. There's a lot of more uses for it and also layer style. So go ahead and experiment with that and see what you can come up with. Thank you.